Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back. So the new update um, just hit and there's a new event out for a new new, new hero, the female version of Robin. And I did do the normal version of this. I'm going to be going into the hard version for the first time, so I've actually never tried this out. I, I don't know how, um, how hard it's going to be exactly, but the, the mobs are level 35. And what this is, it's basically you're, you're funneled into a tunnel. So all you, need, all you can really do is... Um, you have to take hits from these four units. So everyone besides the lance user, you need to take a hit from the axe um, and the three three mages, basically. So um, it's gonna it's gonna be a lot of damage. I'm not sure. I think the best way for me to do this is probably to just use Rioma, but there's a very high chance that Rioma will might possibly die to the blue mage. Um, so I'm thinking of using someone's a ranged character, possibly with high resistance. But I think. Mage, probably a red mage with high resistance would be would be ideal. And if I, if I raised Sophia, she probably would have been perfect for this. Um, I don't have a red mage, but I do have I do have two other mages. Um, I have a pretty high resistance unit with Camilla, so she can probably take some hits as well. And she is she's green, so I'll be taking a hit from the the green unit as well, and I probably won't, um, I won't die in one hit, so I think that should be fine. So I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep Olivia in, I'm gonna put in Camilla, I'm going to, um, I think I'm using, using some ranged characters, Robin, oh wait, I have another resistance buffer, I think resistance buff might be really good, um, I have Merrick for resistance buff, Merrick has has a um, spur resistance which is basically to make my resistance higher also I could um, line him up with Robin Robin also has um, has this skill um, spur defense which actually increases her defense as well so she can take some take hits more easily um, just less chance of people dying let me just make sure that I have everything that can kill everything so um, these three are mages and I have two mage units and then I have a dancer that can I can go in and I don't think using Robin is that good of an idea. Maybe I should use a healer instead. Um, probably someone with more, more mil mobility. Clarine probably is better. Alright, I'm gonna try it with this, this comp and if it works out then everything is good. And yeah, they, there's no sword unit, so I think this is this will definitely work out. All right, so basically the danger area works like this, and these units don't move at all unless you move up um, onto this this slot over here. So there's only two two ways you can go about this. Um, you will you will need to take hits from at least three three units. So this either the blue like there's only two three spots you can move to um, either here here or here because um, the most unless you're using a mounted unit you can you could actually potentially move here as well but then if you move here you still take hits from three units so it doesn't really matter um, so you can move here and get hit by these three or you can move here and get hit by these three basically and, or you could move here and get hit by four units so you either want to move here or here um, I think the best way for me to, to do this is actually to um, since this is a lance unit this is a green mage what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna move Merrick here and move Camilla here on the first turn and then I'll keep um, Olivia behind Merrick to to give to give him the attack buff and this way, when 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 Robin nukes him, or if the Red Mage decides to nuke Merrick instead of Camilla, then um, Merrick pr could pro possibly counter and and kill them. So I'm gonna just move down and then end my turn. Now this is all theory. If this is uh, my first time doing this, so I'm not sure if it's going to work out exactly. But we're just gonna do this. Alright, 
Now I'm gonna use uh, Camilla to finish this this guy off, and then this this mage probably shouldn't be able to kill me. I'll move into this slot so I don't wait a minute. What do you think about this? I can kill this axe fighter or blue mage in one turn. I can nuke him. I don't think this red mage can kill my Camilla in one turn. I should probably kill the red mage and the axe fighter first. Would probably be more ideal. So I'm going to kill the red mage. I'm going to move up. I'm going to dance. Use him. Finish him off. Oh shit! I fucked up. I fucked up. Oh shit, I fucked up so bad. Oh shit, I think I'm dead. I think I'm pro pro probably dead. That was so fucking bad. Oh fuck, fuck, I fucked up. Oh my god. Shit. I think I'm dead. I think I'm probably dead. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna fear him and reduce his attack. Oh shit, okay, okay, I'm good, I'm still good. Holy shit, he nuked my Camilla instead. What what happened was I should have moved Olivia to this slot, healed my Camilla, healed my Camilla, or or um danced on my Camilla, used my Camilla to kill him, moved Clarine down to heal my Merrick. This way he it's impossible for him to die because Camilla at 21 health with 34 resistance um, can tank a blue mage no problem. But he possibly could have died if the blue mage decided to target him. But the AI was dumb and hit Camilla instead. So that was that. <laughs> That was so fucking bad. Alright, that was that was basically it with my um just using my units to do this. I think that was that was a pretty good uh pretty good run. Um I think the ideal unit that you want to use for this this stage, um if you don't if you don't have anything that you can use and you want to raise something so you can get this Robin, um I think the ideal unit is a is a unit that we got for free before. That is the uh, what, what was her name again? Where the fuck is she? What the fuck? It was her, um, so Sophia, because she has like really, really high resistance. Um, her her base stats gives her high resist, and also she's she's red. Um, the the mages were were like one of each type, and then you can move her up to get hit um, by all the mages. Even if she gets hit by the blue mage, it doesn't really matter because um, she gets bonus resistance. She also has fortify resist. Which, which would help your allies get even more resistance, basically. So, I think she's definitely a good unit for this stage if you um, if you raised her or or anything like that. So that was pretty much it. Um, I still haven't actually looked at the Robin, <laughs> the female Robin's skills. I have no idea what she can do. Um, we're just gonna take a look at it very quick. So she is a she's a red mage, and she has a nuke that's effective against. Um, um, cavalry units, and she also gets bonus damage based on her defense. So this is similar to the, the male version of the Robin. Um, she has Defiant Resist, and she has Tone Breaker, which makes her a very strong counter against um, against blue tome users. So this is this is um, basically a counter for for mages, like blue mages, basically, which is actually pretty cool. Cause she's red, right? Or is she green? Oh no, she's green. I thought she was red. My bad. So she's basically a very, very strong counter because she even has resistance um, if she's lower than 50% HP. So she's basically a, a counter to blue mages. Um, I think she also has pretty high defense as well, which means she can tank some physical damage. I think she's definitely a good unit because very, very versatile. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's that's all there is to the to the new update, and that was my my attempt at clearing the the event uh, for the female Robin stage. So that's pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.